If you've ever pulled an all-nighter, you know you're not yourself the next day. And perhaps you've even lamented the need for 8 hours shut-eye. But what if there were a cure for sleep? What if there were a drug you could take so you never felt tired? What would you do if you didn't have to sleep? So that's the topic of today's episode. I'm here with my co-host Adrian. I'm Jorge. And, um, you know, <laughs> you would think that why are we, why are we touching this, this topic of, of sleep? Uh, but, you know, previously in, in previous podcasts, we've, we've talked about, you know, how supposedly robots are going to come in and take our jobs. And how we're going to be competing with robots? Well, <laughs> there's probably going to be, you know, previous, you know, talks and discussions about how people are going to take matters into their own hands and stop sleeping. It's <laughs> just that they're not replaced. <laughs> but so I was curious to know, you know, we discussed this this topic simply because it's, you know, I think it's important. It's a big it's a big piece of our lives, basically. Um, so I mean, can you imagine a world without sleep? <laughs> mm, yeah, I can imagine it. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if it's going to change a lot of things. Maybe it's going to be like a... For productive people, it's going to be better. It's going to be like a multiplier because they're going to be able to do more things in like half the time because they're not going to waste any time on sleeping. But what about the lazy people? <laughs> they're probably going to work the eight-hour shift <laughs> and use the extra time to watch TV or go to the movies or whatever. You know, there's a, I think there's, there's, you know, there's the, the productivity component of, the, of, of, of not sleeping is, is a big one. I think that there's an assumption that because we have more time, we'll do more stuff. I think, I think, you know, being productive is not being busy. <laughs> Most people are just busy, but they're not productive. They're not really productive. Um, what I mean by that is you won't know that if, if I say, Adrian, if we, we need to, you know, we need to, for, I mean, just, just, just consider a scenario. Let's say for this podcast, we've only got two more podcasts to go or we're going to cut it out, right? Yeah. <laughs> and we need to crank out something really good. I bet you if we sit down for four hours, we say in four hours, we got to solve this freaking problem. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be more productive in four hours if we just let, you know, two weeks go by. <laughs> yes you know so you know productivity is not really a measure of time it's a really a measure of focus um, and simply because we don't sleep it doesn't matter we'll focus more I think people will focus on the wrong stuff <laughs> I mean they already do <laughs> yeah what's gonna stop them from keep doing the same thing right yeah <laughs> I mean and then there's the the question of of leisure time um, I mean if we put a survey right now and we, we, we survey people and say, you know, four options. Let's say, what if, what would you do if you didn't have to sleep? What would you do more? Well, first off, they'd probably say, spend more time with my family. You know, spend more time with friends. Uh, leisure time, you know, stuff that, that's entertaining, like watching TV, you know, all that stuff. And then maybe the last one is doing stuff like work, right? Mm -hmm. um, which do you think is going to be the, the big one? <laughs> mm -hmm. Probably, it depends if it's a family man, probably the family. If it's a, a single guy, probably like partying or whatever, hanging out. But I, I don't think that anybody is going to like willingly say, oh, I, I, I will work. work. <laughs> yeah, I, I, will, I will work more. Unless it's someone that doesn't work for a living, kind of like that. I mean... Yeah. For, for me, for example, right now I need to translate the whole film into Spanish subtitles. Mm. And if I didn't have to sleep, I know I would do that you would faster do that, yeah. than if I do have to sleep. That's like something for me. I mean, it's, it's kind of like work, but it's not work, work, but it is. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, th there's like a lot of things that I need to do. And also if you get like, for me, for and I know that for creative people it's the same. You you get like in the zone, yeah, and you just like keep going and going and going and, and momentum, getting more momentum. And if I know that when I work at night, I, I do more like in two two three hours than if I try and, and work throughout the day. 
So that's how I would use my extra time. Yeah, there's a um, <clears throat> there's a book called The Rise of Superman. It's a very interesting book because um, it has to do with with flow, with what you're saying, mm-hmm. the concept of flow when you were in the zone, basically. Um, time passes by really, really fast. Um, you are so damn connected to, to something that, um, you know, there's like, you just, you know, just zone out. <laughs> yeah. You don't listen to anything. You're just, you know, in that zone. So basically what this, what the, what the guy who wrote this book is trying to, to, to do is he identifies all the things that, that bring us into that, into that flow. Um, imagine a world where people would stay, you know, would be in a state of flow more often. A lot of people are never in a state of flow. Because they're busy, mm-hmm. <laughs> they're doing stuff they don't want to do. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and there's ways. I mean, I've actually, ex- uh, you know, experimented with this myself. Um, I'm actually always trying to uh, to put myself in a state of flow. I mean, deliberately. <laughs> I know, I know, I know what would take me to that state. Like, um, like I, 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 I like uh, risk. So for me, it's very easy to say, you know, if I jump on a on a on a, on a track. To race a car, I'm not. I know I'm gonna be in flow. <laughs> you know, I. I mean, I know that. But you know, let's not. That's like an extreme. But what about in the day to day? And and you know, when you are in, in state of flow, you don't want to go to sleep. <laughs> it's like a freaking drug. Yeah. It's like a freaking drug because you don't want that thing to end. It's like love or and all these types of emotions. I mean, you don't want it to go by. You just like, God damn, that was that was so nice. <laughs> you just you don't you don't want it to disappear, but. So I think that's also an interesting thing when you talk about a world without sleep, you know, how, how, you know, cause if, and, and, and this is, you know, biologically we can't, we have to sleep. <laughs> that's just a fact. If we don't, we die <laughs> or we, we get all types of, um, you know, different symptoms that eventually will tell us to die. For example, Michael Jackson, the reason Michael Jackson died is because he couldn't sleep. He was sleeping, and he needed the drug that the drug to to sleep him health, but he was not dreaming. So there's different types of sleep. It's like you and I were saying, you know, before we jumped on that, you know, you, you were saying that sometimes you wake up but you you feel tired. Yeah. Right. So that's the same thing. You're not sleeping. Um, I know, for example, when I really sleep, I dream a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of dreaming. <laughs> A lot of freaking dreaming, and that's what they call REM sleep, rapid eye motions. You know, that's what that's really when you're really sleeping, when you're dreaming. Uh, if you're not dreaming, you're not really sleeping. You're just, you know, just slumbering, <laughs> but you're not resting. Yeah. So, I mean, biologically, we can't avo- We have to sleep. Um, I know there's there's you know research and whatnot of drugs that will, you know maybe help us you were saying one modafinil i think that's yeah. the kind of like the like the common one everybody uses yeah for various things yeah uh, ambien and you know all these things i mean i have a friend who she used to use ambien all the time when we were in a startup i mean she was on ambien all the freaking time and she would let me know oh i'm, I'm gonna drink ambien right now so if if i'm kind of acting really goofy that's why i'm like you're always goofy <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I thought I thought that was wrong, right? Because she used it every freaking day. <laughs> yeah. But um, I mean, I don't think that's. I mean, I don't think you know. In terms of productivity, I think there's. Just because you have more time doesn't mean we'll we'll actually do more. I mean, people people will not change just because they have more time. They'll be more busy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you, I. The thing for me is I, I need help to focus because I can't focus on things I don't want to do. But since I'm doing everything on my films, I need to focus on the things that I don't want to do, like budgeting or pre-production or producing all that stuff. I need to focus. I need to do it. No one else is going to do it, so I need to do it. But I don't like doing that. And that's where I would need help focusing. <laughs> you know, there's a, on this book called The Rise of Superman, um, he goes and studies the you know basically extreme extreme sports athletes because those guys are always in a state of flow (laughs) they're in a state of 
you know, life and death, basically. <laughs> or or ma maybe not life, not, not life. I mean, not death, because, I mean, uh, not, I mean, it's like, for example, if you're doing like uh, ex extreme gangs on skateboard, I mean, you might hit yourself, but you might not die. <laughs> but <laughs> you can injure yourself. Yeah, and but, you're the, out. but the fact that you're willing to put yourself in danger, that puts you in a very state of, of, aware, of high awareness. And, you know, it's all it's all internal, it's all in our brains um, to put ourselves in a state of flow. Um, but still, I mean, <laughs> it's very it's very hard for most people to. I mean, a lot of people don't like their jobs. <laughs> I mean, most people don't really. I mean, I I've been there. Even if if I do kind of like my job, you get home and you're tired and you don't want to do anything else. If if you have like a dream or something or a, another goal, you won't do it because you're tired. You're just tired and and then you're like, okay, so I'm at a job I don't like. I'm not gonna get home and work more. I need my rest. I need to relax yeah. because I earned it. <laughs> and you, and since you have money, you can buy yourself stuff or you can buy your own time to do whatever, whatever mm -hmm. you want. And you waste time that way. But I mean, it's 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 tough to get out of that mentality. It's really really hard because you're doing it's, something you don't want. Yeah, because it's also ingrained in our society to have that routine. <laughs> Um, in my case, like, and I was telling you this before, um, I, I used to sleep six hours and that was okay for me. I was fine, you know, going to sleep 12, 12, 30 AM and waking up at six. And then I went to this, 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 um, what do you call it? Massage therapist that you recommended last year. Yeah. And she told me that, um, you know, I had, I, you know, she asked me some questions basically as to how I, I, I rest. And she figured out that I wasn't really sleeping. I was just, you know, shutting my eyes and then waking up <laughs> when I had to. And that was it, right? I woke up as if, you know, nothing. <laughs> and I said, well, yeah, that's kind of how it goes. She's like, you're not really, you're not really, you know, sleeping. You're not really resting. I need you to rest. And uh, I decided like two weeks later that I was going to change my schedule. And I decided to sleep one more, like one hour earlier on command whatever you know whatever I was doing I was trying to sleep and that's and that's when everything changed with me because I, I, I actually noticed you know my 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 energy change <laughs> um, even though I have a bunch of energy already um, but see the thing the thing the thing I, I, I always I always tell people is that if, if we I mean we all live with ourselves so we kind of understand what we're when our optimum times are during the day. For me, it's in the morning and at night. <laughs> During the day, it's like, I could, I mean, it's like OCD. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no, it's like ADD. I'm all over the freaking place. I mean, if I say I got to focus, I will focus. But most of the time, it's like I'm in ADD mode. It's like anything will, you know, I'm all over the damn place. But in the, in the morning, 6 to like 9 or even 10, I'm like, you know, connected. Or from 9 to 12. At night, it's like, yeah, it's the too. best time. What is that? <laughs> it's just night hours, and I mean, it's, it's it's ridiculous. But yeah, like there's like morning people and there's night people. I'm, I think I'm, I'm both <laughs> in my case. Yeah, it's really crazy because I could be productive from like 7 a.m. to like 10. And then like getting near 11, I'm like, oh my God, I just, I don't want to do anything. Anymore. Yeah. That, and for example, like, like we, the example you were saying that when you, you go to work and you come back and you want to rest. The only the only reason I feel that way is because I'm annoyed. <laughs> if I spend time with some, you know, with a group of people or with somebody that just fucking annoyed me, yeah. I get I get I mean I I want to sleep. I get tired of that. <laughs> annoyed. That's that's the things that tire me the most. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so <laughs> I make it. A, I mean, obviously you have to deal with a bunch of people all the, all day. I mean, you don't pick you don't pick the people, but. But I try to I try not to have those days <laughs> so, because then I know I can be optimum at any time point in time, <laughs> and I can go on and on and on. And on. <laughs> How to know if Jorge doesn't like you? He's sleeping. I'm, I'm sleeping. Yeah, no, people will know. Well, see, see, there's a thing because there's some people when you're talking, they'll start like you know their their eyes get dry and whatnot. Uh, that doesn't happen to me when I'm talking to somebody, uh, but I'm not I'm not present. <laughs> 
I'm somewhere else, like my brain starts going somewhere else. Uh, okay, okay, okay. You know? Because it's, that's not the effect that it has on me. It, it, the effect it has on me, somebody who's annoying or who's just not, just wasting your time, is that I, I don't want to be here. <laughs> I want to think about something else. <laughs> but uh, it tires you. It's, it's annoying. Um, you know, the other, the other factor that contributes to a world without sleep is relationships, um, which is what it was talking about. Um, you know, I mean, there's obviously, there's people who you like being around all the time <laughs> and you can spend hours and hours and hours and days days around and there I mean you won't you don't want it you won't say fuck I want to leave <laughs> you know I've had enough of you <laughs> you know but there's people who don't I mean <laughs> no but wait I was thinking right now I mean we were talking about that about relationships and whatever you said that there's people that you don't want to say like you know what I'm sick of you i don't want to be with you yeah but that's because you've never gone a full week without sleep with that with that person, person like 100 of the time yeah. maybe if you did maybe well you think differently even if it's like the most beautiful girl the perfect yeah. girl or whatever it's like god damn it you, I you know how to... you know how there's um <laughs> this is like a i need to like fart. it's this <laughs> somewhat like like a like a changing changing topic but no it's not See, right now, the NASA, NASA has a team of, of scientists in uh, Hawaii that, are, that have been in a pod since... They're going to be in a pod for, 100, you know, for, for one year. They started this summer. and Well, last summer, I should say, 2015. And they're going to be in the pod for 364 days or 66 days. And you know, they're acting as if they were on Mars. So they can't, they, the only reason they go out, they go out in their suits to do research, right? And everything that goes on, there's even a time delay between communications with NASA. <laughs> like, I mean, they're simulating everything. So these people are like, like living with themselves for a whole freaking year. <laughs> and obviously there's NASA, NASA um, creates a team so there's, you know, there's not going to be a lot of friction. People will like themselves enough that they can, you know, handle each other, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know. Um, but that's NASA. For us, if we're talking about, about a world without, without sleep, um, it's, it's different. And, you know, I, I've, I've always said, you know, I'm, I'm willing to, to talk to anybody, but I have a very quick mind about that stuff. Like, I can tell immediately if there's going to be a click here or not for me a big test is always would i could i go and have a drink with this person <laughs> could i play video games with this person you know stuff like that yeah um because it's like you know can you handle them can you can you hang around you know or can you handle me <laughs> and that's different and that's different and i think that's a huge huge part of you know if if if, if there was there would be a world without sleep how would relationships change? Because <laughs> um, a lot of a lot big part of what we do is sleep. That's when we rest, even from other people. <laughs> yeah. We don't say it. We don't really say, it. "Oh, it's time to rest." I'm I'm gonna rest from you, <laughs> but but uh, we don't really say that. But that's another big piece of it. <laughs> yeah, it it serves like a daily reset. It's a yeah, it's a buffer. I mean, it's like yeah, like yeah, you know, going to the gym or you know, um, hanging out with your friends. All these things are you know, you know, buffers to deal with other stuff. Um, <laughs> but if we have more time to do that. <laughs> but imagine just going on a loop without stopping, without like resting because you don't need to. Well, see, here's the thing. If we didn't hit, well, the, biologically we have to change. If we need to, need to rest. Um, <laughs> so we do get tired, but we don't sleep. Yeah, I mean, Bio biologically, something has they have to change something in our in our in our in so our bodies. So you would be sitting down all tired without being able to sleep. Now remember, we we you know in the bigger picture, if we didn't have to sleep, we'd have to eat more. <laughs> There'd be more jobs because we we need to you know do a, you know our our because when we sleep, I mean even though we're sleeping, our you know internal organs are still operating. But they're also resting because they're not. We're not forcing them. They're doing. They're so doing what, slower. Yeah. So what happens to that? 
What the hell happens to there, that? <laughs> there's two things we could do. We could speculate speculate about um not sleeping and not needing it. Or we can speculate about what would happen if we just like decided to stop to stop sleeping, sleeping we die. Yeah. We die. <laughs> but like looking for medical ways to not die. Because well, I, I, there's two, two there's two like big different things because on, on one side if you don't need to sleep, um, I would think that you don't get tired because that's what you live because you get tired, your body gets tired. Yeah. So you would be like kind of like a, a Vegas thing, where All the, time. the first the first day you know you you, you don't even know what time it is. You don't want to go sleep. Yeah. You're just having fun, whole day. So maybe, I think if we, <laughs> we could interview people from Vegas because they. they well, They're no, actually, actually, you know, you know, who's interesting to interview is, is scientists in, uh, in the in the Arctic, because, you know, the Arctic goes without light for I don't know how many months. Without light. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 nighttime and it's, it's one o'clock in the afternoon and it's nighttime, and and I know it affects them. It, it affects their, their 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 perception of things at the beginning because it's like what the f. It's 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 the middle of the afternoon and it's, there's no freaking light and you're used to seeing light wherever you are. <laughs> but here's another question, and I'm glad you brought that up because it has to do with that, and the other thing that I was saying. Okay, so if, if you, you just stop sleeping, you take a pill and you don't need to sleep. I think people who do it right now, like us, that are gonna be like going from sleeping to no sleeping, I think we would miss it. I mean, we, we would. Oh yeah, we would be like, oh, we miss it. Yeah, we would miss it. We would miss it. But what if the new generation, since day one, they get the pill, or in liquid form, and uh, they don't know what sleep is? And I was gonna like ask the same question. So if you're used to being noon and there's a lot of sun, and then you move to where Arctic? Yeah. And it fucks you up. But what if you're born there? And then you come over here and you're like, what the fuck? It's noon and noon. Yeah, it changes. Sun. Yeah, it changes. Yeah. But see, it's it's for months where they go without light for months. And <laughs> it's not the, norm, the normal cycle. It, it fucks me up. Here in Tijuana, we have a... Like in the summer, it's, it's way hot and there's a lot of sun. But in the winter, sometimes it's cloudy and it gets dark really 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 early and it fucks with my brain i'm always lazy i don't yeah. want to do anything because it's like i want to well see it's like it's like um like like when you travel i mean the jet lag um <laughs> i mean it's i mean i know it messes with my mind but i know it messes with other people's minds a lot more than mine uh for some reason i don't know but uh, it definitely does it's the same thing because you're not used to you know doing certain things at certain hours you know, it's the habits, but eventually you, you, you pick up on it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, there's a lot of things to go into this thing, whole thing of sleeping. Um, even like scheduling. I mean, I mean, your schedule's all fucked up. If you don't get to sleep, I mean, you know that at nighttime you got to go to sleep. <laughs> You're not going to sleep? What the F? <laughs> How about a midnight meeting? Yeah, I'm see, with that. See, and, and, and I know, I know uh, some people are talking about that you know, replacements for sleep. So let's say we do sleep, but then we have an external device that doesn't sleep for us. So let's say like a robot or whatever, and they, they when, when we're sleeping, they're acting, or they are doing our shit, <laughs> or our stuff, right? Like that, that movie, um, what's that movie called? The Bruce Willis, uh, Surrogate? Yeah, Surrogate. Well, that's, that one's different, but... Um, yeah, because you control them. Yeah. But this one, but it's kind of like the same thing, right? Yeah. But in this case, you're sleeping. While you're sleeping, the other thing is operating, <laughs> which is nighttime. So if you had that option, you know, what would you do with that extra time? I mean, it's... it's but it's, it's not your extra time. Yeah, well, but you see, it's, it's what like... What could you do? It's like an augmentation. If you, if you do that. For me, like if, like if I would put in a scenario where I didn't have to sleep, but, you know, let's, let's put that one... Yeah, you do sleep, but you're actually using that time... While you're sleeping, you know, some something external is, is doing using that time. I would use it to 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 because um, yeah, you know one of the biggest pet peeves for me is that 
even though I meet a lot of people on the web, some you, you have to make time to, to go deeper. And I like to go deeper with people um, that I find interesting. And that's one of the things that I like to have more time to do <laughs> as opposed to just like, like, like for example, this guy, um, I have a friend who introduced me to a guy who, who does, who's a well-known guy in, 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 in um, you know, strategy. Um, and he has a, like, he created this theory called platform strategy. And I thought, well, that's freaking interesting. They want me to interview him. He's from MIT. And I said, wow, that's interesting. I don't have a lot of time to interview maybe one hour, but I like to have more time <laughs> with that guy. You know what I mean? Because, yeah. I mean, I know how to craft questions to get information, but sometimes one hour is not enough. You just kind of like touch the base, <laughs> right? You want more. So for me, if I had more time on my hands while I'm sleeping and not used for sleeping, I would use it to meet more people and go deeper. <laughs> that would be the first thing that I would do. I wouldn't even say, oh, I want to hang out with my friends or this and that. <laughs> I would say I want to more, meet more interesting people and then all the other stuff. <laughs> I would spend more time on that, <laughs> but um, you know, I, I think that's kind of like the, like the, the main the main thing. You know, like what would you do if you had more time? <laughs> yeah. And that's the thought. You know, if we if we go back to our previous topic about us competing against machines, well, machines are not gonna meet more people. <laughs> machines are gonna do more of what we do now just faster or more efficiently or smarter, but that get, that's gonna let, let, you know, leave us with more time on our hands to do what? A lot of people can't answer that question. <laughs> yeah, to do what? If you have a servant robot, that will give you more time because you don't have to clean your house or do the dishes. Yeah. Or cook. What would you do with that time? Play video games? <laughs> Or what? <clears throat> um, so that's it, then? Yep. <laughs> um, I think I think it's an interesting topic. Um, I think I think it uh, it makes you reflect on your on how to use your time. <laughs> yeah. What would you do, and why aren't you doing it right now? Yeah. Exactly. That, that's another thing. Exactly. I was with a. I was with a. I was talking to a friend, uh, a few oh, over the weekend, and I was telling her that. You know, if. I I value my time and I value everybody's time, so, you know who you how you how you how you put your time together, determines a lot of things. For you know, in, in terms of even your health, right. Because if you're just, you know, mindlessly giving your time away, <laughs> it, it, you know, in my case, it comes to that scenario where I'm thinking, oh, I'm hanging out with some fucking annoying person. I know I'm going to get tired. I want to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the best use of my time. Obviously, you're going to encounter this on a day to day. But the more you become more focused on how you make you use your time, then you avoid those types of scenarios, right? You actually spend more time with the people you want to do you want to and you know that time is not you know you're not thinking shit I should be jump doing something else I gotta go I got a, an appointment or something or make something up to go <laughs> but you feel like you're in a state of flow I mean that's really what happens like when we we're talking in this podcast you know I can't I know we have a counter on there yeah but I don't really know like like I forget like what's going on <laughs> yeah you don't feel it you don't feel the time yeah I know there's a counter there and we can see it. We can see it going, you know, up and up and up. And, but, but, you know, I'm not really, I'm, I'm thinking shit, right? <laughs> I don't feel, you know, pressured. <laughs> and that's the point about flow. <laughs> yeah. For me, I think we just hit record like about three minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what would you do with more time? I know you mentioned what, what else? What would I, I mean, I'm, pretty sure and I've tried to do it but it, I, I don't know I just for example you're a parent yeah I'm a parent. so imagine you and and, and, and and your daughter you know you, you don't have to sleep neither of you what would you do 
that that's <laughs> that's kind of why I started telling you the thing about that you need to sleep because being a parent if you're a parent it tires that, you that <laughs> no not even not even that it does tire you a lot but not even that I mean if if you're um because I mean I know there are some parents who work all day and they don't even get to see their their yeah their kids and some of them are like kind of happier that way because maybe they don't they don't want to see their wife they don't want to see their kids blah, 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 whatever no but there there are other people who like me that I just can't take it being like working on the computer for eight hours straight and not being able to be with her because I don't have a nine to five job so I don't get to miss out on things mm -hmm. and if I get like to concentrate on the computer and stuff like that it that's why I rather work at night than and in the day be with with my daughter mm -hmm. but it's a full-time job being a parent is a full-time job if you're a good parent it's a full-time job so it's like having a job every day at all hours so if, if I don't sleep I it's not even just me like a lot of parents would go crazy if they couldn't sleep because it's time with your kids is mostly being kind of like a servant to them yeah <laughs> it's about them it's not about exactly. you i try and make it about me um, sometimes and try to teach her things that i like uh, for example she loves dr who she loves the theme song she can she can hum it she can hum a lot of songs that i like from video games like that kind of stuff it makes it a, a little bit more uh, not about her and a little bit about me but yeah it you would go crazy uh, spending more time with my daughter, I have no idea what I would do because I already spend a lot of time with her. Well, see, uh, you, I mean, you know, because we were saying, like, see, nobody thinks about these questions. <laughs> yeah. It makes you reflect on the whole thing. What I would do with more time is uh, I try to learn more languages, like a shitload of them, because I want to be able to understand a lot of people and be able to go to any place and be able to speak their go. language. That's what I would do. And I kind of started doing that with Italian, but when when it comes to, like, s starting to practice it or learn it at 9 p.m. when you wake up at 7 a.m., you're not in the mood for that. <laughs> and during the day, there's a lot of distractions, so I need to find some kind of balance to do it because I do want to do it, and I am going to do it. But that's the, the number one thing I would do with extra time learn uh, not more languages that's good i would i would yeah i would learn learn more skills myself um i would um i would you know go and get my my racing license <laughs> 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 my um my pilot license <laughs> um you know all those types of things but um <laughs> but yeah i mean it's 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 not um I don't know. It's 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 interesting. I think it's a very interesting topic, just simply because it makes you reflect on your time, um, you know. And, and again, bio bio biologically, we have to sleep. So this is not really for a, now. Yeah, this is not a case <laughs> that you know tomorrow you know we won't be sleeping. We will. We have to. <laughs> um, we can't be like Michael Jackson. <laughs> when the will die. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, you got anything else to add? That's for me. that's it for me. No, that's for me too. Okay, well, this is a short short podcast, but I think I think it's a little more interesting than usual. Um, so let let us know, guys. What do you think? What if we didn't have to sleep? A world without sleep. What would you do? Like, how do you imagine your life being different? Um, you know, let us know. Send us send us a tweet. I mean. I think there's like a, a bunch of questions that could be asked about this, not just what would you do with more time, yeah. but what, I mean, I, I didn't think of this before, but if robots take over the nine to five jobs, I, it just didn't occur to me that they could do it 24 seven. Yeah. Well, that's, they that's could, the point. They, they don't, they, could, they don't, they don't get tired. Yeah. They can do it 24 seven. Even their supervisors are, are going to get tired. Yeah. That's the point. That's the point of robots. But while see, the supervisor is sleeping, what you want, what you want robots to do is augment, augment us, not replace us. They will replace tasks. Yes. But 
not every job <laughs> because some you know there's important jobs that require thinking and robots do not that will not be thinking <laughs> well that's the best case scenario if we let robots think well we already talked about before <laughs> what that looks like but they will keep us like right now soon. like right now um i was reading you know i was reading a guy who's who's a writer that's his that's his job that's his career he's a writer and he wrote about the reign of algorithms because for him an algorithm determines it's kind of like no the algorithm does not determine if he su he succeeds but he it's a part of the equation now in this case it's google it's 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 Facebook, it's Twitter. I mean, there's all these things that determine, you know, and he's, you know, in this case, it's an algorithm, you know, determining your criteria for success for you. <laughs> because if, if that thing says, no, this sucks, nobody's going to find you. <laughs> right. Yeah. And writing is not a. You know, we were talking about the book you have here, you know, there's books that are interesting. There's topics that are interesting, but books that are, do not do them justice because they, they don't write in a, an interesting way, right? So people who write in an interesting way are very few. <laughs> so how does an algorithm determine that, right? It's very difficult. But um, see, that's why you want the algorithm. We want to teach algorithms or, or AI to, to have more criteria <laughs> to help us, not to you know, impede, <laughs> impede us for, you know, you know, what's well, if happen. robots can do our job 24 seven, then we have more time to learn other languages. <laughs> and maybe, oh, I don't know. I think, the, I think the human race will be way better if, if we didn't have to pay, um, if life wasn't monthly bills. Yes. Because I mean, that a lot of people live like that right now that's like that's the a routine only, yeah for me it's only a reminder that the, there's the month change is that you need you uh, need to pay shit you need to pay <laughs> shit and life should be lived with moments not with with bills with, with monthly bills. bills that's a good way to end <laughs> um <laughs> well maybe maybe we should talk about that on another episode yeah a world without work <laughs> do that next week all right all right man let's uh let's cut it there then um so see you see you guys next week have a good one <laughs>